little bit of everything in the forecast for today, Keith. At first, it's calm and we have sunny skies and how chilly it was this morning. You needed the gloves. Now you need the sunglasses and eventually you won't even need the jacket. It's quite mild out there for this afternoon. Lower 50s near 60 by Tuesday. The winds are going to pick up. We'll talk a little bit more about that as well. And by the end of the week, yes, there is a little bit of snow in the forecast as well. Speaking of snow, the, what we have in our forecast now isn't till December. That begins Thursday. We've only had under an inch of snow and it's not making it into the top 10. The top 10 finished at 0.2. So we're actually even above that, but it is well below where we should be for the month of November. You should be around eight inches and we're nowhere near that. So mild for the day today. What are we looking ahead to? Windy and warm on Tuesday. Some rains coming through the overnight and early Tuesday, and then we'll have a rain snow mix coming in for Friday and especially for the southern tier ski country. We want to be be able to keep all those slopes open, although it's going to be tough over the next couple of afternoons. Temperatures are close to 50 degrees right now. That southerly wind is going to keep us quite mild as we go throughout the day today, tonight, and into tomorrow. But it's a big range of temperatures. Now, with that southerly wind, it warms us up right along the shoreline, but it keeps the southern tier cool because as the winds go down the hills, it warms up. So that's what we're seeing here. The southern tier is going to remain in the 40s for daytime highs. Satellite rate are shot together. We have the southerly wind at the surface, but we're watching this move from west to east as we head throughout the afternoon. May pick up a brief shower as we go into the afternoon hours with what's coming across from Cleveland right now. The main threat isn't going to be here until we head into the overnight. Some moderate rains at times, but notice these temperatures are going to may remain quite mild. We go from the low 50s only in the mid to upper 40s through the overnight, and notice these winds are going to be picking up as well. We do have that wind advisory for Southern Erie and Chautauqua counties where we could see gusts to around 40 or I should say a little bit over 40 miles an hour. Elsewhere, it will still be windy, just not as gusty. For the day today, we're watching the clouds increase. By the time we get to 11 o'clock at night, Chief Meteorologist Aaron Minkowski, he'll be in tracking some of these light showers and then the brunt of the heavier showers comes in through the overnight. We're looking anywhere from around a fifth of an inch to about a quarter of an inch of rain, especially through Southern Ontario for Niagara Falls, just north of Buffalo and across the 90 as well. For early Tuesday, for the drive into work, the rain showers become much more scattered. And by the time we get into the later morning, we're not really dealing with much rain at all. The southern tier is still holding on to a few of these light showers. And by noon, we're all dry and quite mild, very breezy as well. Temperatures will be close to that 60 degree mark, especially with the southerly winds. The southern tier will be left out of that. We get a little bit warmer along the lakeshore because of that southerly wind becoming more southwesterly through the afternoon. A gusty breeze will be on the way, and again, the rain showers come to an end. For Wednesday, here we start in the mid 40s once again. We could squeak into the top 10 of warmest Novembers, but it's going to be uh, something that we watch as we head into Wednesday afternoon. For the end of the week, this is now beginning December. I can't believe it. We're already here. Low 40s on Thursday. We're going to have rain coming in late Wednesday night into Thursday. Friday, we'll have the potential for that rain snow mix there. Some lake effect rain showers and snow showers to end out the work week and start the upcoming weekend. Where does the time go December already? I can't believe it. Now we're all in the holidays and, and then it will be the new year. Oh, thanks, Autumn. Yeah. Don't go away. Mr. Foods